Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. In today's video, we are going to be getting my home ready for Christmas. So there's gonna be tons of fun Christmas music. We are gonna be doing some deep cleaning to really make sure my home is ready for the holidays. So we're gonna be doing that extra little cleaning that we usually don't do, but we should be doing. So some baseboards, some doors. I'm also gonna be sharing a delicious crock pot recipe at the end of this video so stay tuned for that I'm trying to get your attention giving you a sign so we are tidying up the family room and I am putting everything back in its correct location. And I'm saying that because sometimes when I'm cleaning, I will put everything in a corner. And then when I'm done with that room, I will then go put everything back. But in this video today, I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna put everything in its correct location. Even though it took a little bit longer, that's what we did. We're gonna be fluffing up the pillows and we're gonna be folding the blanket. And then in this video, we are going to be doing a deep cleaning, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna be mopping all of the floors in my home. And today you guys are going to be getting double the cleaning motivation. This video is in collaboration with my YouTube friend, Kristen L. Home. She creates content very similar to me. She does a lot of cleaning on her channel. She shares recipes. You guys will love her channel. She is getting her home deep cleaned as well and preparing it for Christmas. So when you're done watching my video, go head over to her channel and let her know down in the comments that I sent you. And if you are coming over from Kristen's channel or you're just new in general, my name's Lexi and I create content just like this one weekly. I love sharing cleaning motivation with you guys, getting you guys inspired to get your home clean. I love sharing recipes. I love cooking. So that is something that I'm always sharing on my channel. I also do lifestyle videos. I share grocery hauls, ways that you can buy groceries on a budget. I do so many different videos on my channel. I literally am like a melting pot of content. So if if you guys like what you hear, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and consider joining the family here on my channel. I've been longing for this Christmas When everyone's around To share this holiday Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for that we And if you guys are watching this video the day I upload it, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Can you believe it? I feel like time has flew by so fast. I just can't believe Thanksgiving is already here. We are so excited about it. Ryan and I are just gonna be celebrating it with the two of us this year, which we are happy about because we are getting married here very soon, the second week of December to be exact. And we're gonna be seeing all of our family at our wedding. So we figured we didn't need to see them for Thanksgiving as well. And so that's what we're doing. And I'm not doing a traditional Thanksgiving because I don't wanna be stuck with all of these leftovers since it's just gonna be the two of us. So what we decided to do is we're gonna be doing steak, we're gonna be doing some lobster. I think I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and asparagus. I have not gone shopping yet for that, but I'm not too much concerned about it because I'm sure everything that's gonna be selling out are gonna be things I don't need, such as turkey, ham, mac and cheese, all of that fun stuff that you need for the holidays. Let me know down in the comments, what are you guys doing this year for Thanksgiving? Are you celebrating with your family? Are you celebrating it alone? And what are you having? I always love to know what people are having on Thanksgiving day. spent most of this video rambling about everything else but cleaning so I am so sorry but I was mopping my floors using my favorite mop it's called the Bona mop that is linked on my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in it and I'm now cleaning out my closet our little like coat rack closet it was filthy as you guys can see this video is all about getting your home clean for the holidays so going that extra mile doing things that you usually don't get to I really want to make sure this is clean so I am just vacuuming it out and then I'm going to reorganize 
organize our shoe rack, put our vacuum cleaner back in there in an organized way. So that way, if any guests come over, they can put their shoes on the rack and have some space. Sky with beams of Christmas light. Now I just stop and stare. Canvas be seen closet looks so much better. I'm happy we were able to get that done. Now I am just finishing vacuuming up the entryway and then we are going to be mopping this area. I am still using my bone mop. I wanted to let you know that usually my bone mop you can just squirt and the solution will come out but I was completely out of the solution so I had to kind of like spray and mop so that's why you see me spraying. This is just the bone mop solution. I picked it up from Marshalls and it works for laminate floors and hardwood floors so it does such an amazing job. We're going to mop the floors and then we are moving on to the doors. I don't know how I get makeup on these doors you guys but there's always makeup and grime and dirt. I'm using a disinfectant wipe. Definitely check what paint you have because if you have flat paint this will not work. It will take the paint off but I believe this is a semi-gloss paint we have in this house but don't quote me so it does amazing at removing all of the grime. You can also use a multi-surface spray as well. You will see me use the multi-surface spray on some of the baseboards and the walls. I will say the disinfecting wipe was a lot easier. You didn't have to scrub as much, but the multi-surface spray worked really well. This is me showing you guys a close-up shot of the makeup, and this is the disinfecting wipe. You'll see me literally just swipe it over and it removes so easily. No effort is put into it. So if your guys' door looks as bad as mine, pick you up some disinfecting wipes and wipe away. Everything comes off so easily. And if you have scuff marks, I recommend using a magic eraser. This will not get rid of any scuff marks, but the magic eraser does wonders for scuff marks. Leave their worries all behind. Take it slowly and unwind and bring the peace back to a torn and shattered world. Let us share with all a Merry Christmas. So we are going to now wipe the baseboards. I'm using just a microfiber cloth and some multi-surface spray. It did an amazing job. If you guys find that your baseboards are very dusty, you may want to take a swifter duster and just use that to swipe over your baseboards to remove all the dust and then spray the multi-surface spray to just wipe away any extra residue. Mines weren't too dusty, so I didn't have to do that step. I am just wiping everything away. It's really just grime and not as much dust. And you see me doing that around the perimeter of my home. For the big and the small, for those who are weary and those who came far. Let us I didn't realize how dirty my walls were until I was done cleaning and I felt like the walls looked brand new, like I had did a paint job. So if you guys haven't wiped down your walls in a long time, now's the time you want to do it before Christmas and get your home ready. So now we are in the guest bathroom. No one really uses this bathroom, but the dogs, we do give them a bath in here. So I wanted to go ahead and spray the shower down with some shower cleaner. We're going to be scrubbing the shower walls. We're also going to be cleaning the toilet, the vanity, vacuuming the floors, mopping. We're going to be doing everything in this bathroom so that way it will be ready for guests if they need to use it. What is in my spray bottle? I guess it's not a bathroom cleaner. It's just the Mrs. Myers multi-surface concentrate. So you can make it as strong as you want, which I really enjoy. So I made this batch extra strong and then just filled the remainder of the bottle up with water. And I use that to clean my shower and also to clean the vanity. It's amazing at just like surface cleaning. If you were going to do a deep clean, I probably would recommend a product that's a little bit more stronger. But since, like I said, no one really uses this bathroom, it did an amazing job of getting this area clean.
So you'll see in this video, I'm kind of all over the place with my cleaning. I wiped down the toilet and then I wiped it down again. So I like to wipe the toilet down two times to make sure it's extra clean. And then I forgot to clean out the inside of the bowl. And when I was done with the bathroom, I realized, wait, did I clean out the inside of the bowl? I don't think so. So I end up taking care of that later. So don't worry. I also wanted to say that I finally got my hands on that Clorox um, toilet bowl wand. I only picked up one of them for the master bath. So I don't have one for the guest bath. So I probably should get a second one. I literally opened the box from Amazon right before filming this video and left it right on my kitchen table. So when you guys see me clean off my kitchen table, it will be right there, but it's brand new, so no need to worry. But I am so excited to try it because so many of you guys have been recommending it to me for months and months and it's been sold out. So I was so happy to finally get my hand on it. And in case you're new here, I am using my electric shower brush to scrub down the shower walls. I picked it up from Amazon. It is linked on my Amazon storefront, which is always in the description box and it's under the the cleaning essentials tab. It is by far my number one cleaning gadget that I would recommend. I'm using that multi-surface spray to spray on the floors and then I am just gonna go ahead and give these floors a good mop and we will be moving on to the rest of the home. the kitchen I went ahead and took my slippers off and put my fuzzy socks on these are my favorite socks I got them from all these they are so soft but I wanted to say that the kitchen is usually the heart of the home it's usually where people will kind of mingle and hang out so I wanted to make sure that this area was nice and clean for the holidays so we are going to be getting all the dishes put away out of the dishboard putting the dishes away from the dishwasher and just getting my kitchen back in order we're gonna be wiping down some appliances you can see me kind of sneak some treats to bliss but um, we had went on a trip to Florida for my friend's wedding and so I had packed all of these treats that we had so much left over so I just snuck her one and now I'm putting the rest of the treats and supplements back in the containers they belong in jamming out to Christmas music as I was doing this cleaning but my phone kept going off so I just put my AirPods on and was answering and telling people I have to go I'm filming a video so that's why occasionally you see me talking back and forth but usually every single morning I always unload the dishwasher so that way throughout the day when I accumulate dishes I can just pop them in there Now that we have all the clean dishes put away from the dishboard and the dishwasher, I am just getting all the dishes from the sink and I'm putting it in the dishwasher. I also had some chicken breasts that I took out this morning that I was waiting to defrost so we can make that crock pot recipe later in this video. If you forget to take your meat out, I usually take it out the night before and I'll just defrost it in the fridge. But if you forget to do it, you can just put some water on top of it in like a glass container or a bowl and it defrosts pretty fast. It took like an hour and a half to get it defrosted so that wasn't too bad at all. So if you guys have never tried these reusable sandwich bags, I also have the gallon size ones and the quart size ones. They are amazing because when you are done using them, you can just wash them and you can use them over and over again. It also saves on plastic. I picked them up from Amazon, so I will be sure to link those on my Amazon storefront. Not only do they save you money, but it also saves the environment. So I have been loving to use those instead of just using the ones that you just use one time and throw away. Merry Christmas. Let us bring the greatest time. For 
the sink, I just put a little bit of my Mrs. Myers dish soap in the Iowa pine. It smells just like Christmas, smells so good. I also use some Barkeeper's Friend and that does a really good job at getting your sink nice and shiny. And then you'll see me scrub the gold plate here in a second. That can kind of get some water stains on it. So the Barkeeper's Friend does a really good job at removing those water stains. It's the season for all, for the big and the small. For those who are weary and those who came far, let us come together, keep the winter outside and follow the stars. If you guys have a dishboard, I wanted to remind you to make sure to clean that out. Sometimes I forget about that. You not only want to clean the dishboard out, you also want to clean underneath it. So that way if any water gets trapped underneath it, there's no mold or anything like that. I usually pop the dishboard right in that little piece that I have right now. I will pop it right in the dishwasher and it cleans it perfectly. But today I decided to wash it by hand. So I just gave it a good rinse and then I sprayed some multi-surface spray on it and then it just wiped it clean and it did a really good job of getting all that grime. But if you don't want to do this, you can literally just rinse it and pop it in the dishwasher and it will get crystal clean for you. It's the time for all to move in closer. It's the time for all to settle down. love to hear down in the comments what is your favorite thing to clean in the kitchen or the most satisfying thing you like to clean I should say mine's is definitely wiping down the counters I love doing that I find it so much fun I usually am the one to wipe down the counters after dinner Ryan will do the dishes and I'll wipe down the counters I don't mind doing that at all as long as that stops me from doing the dishes that's probably my least favorite thing I don't mind it too much if I'm just popping things in the dishwasher but I definitely don't like washing dishes by hand if I don't have to Take flight and come true. And to clean my glass stove top, I am using a little bit of that Mrs. Myers dish soap. I don't like to do this method too often because it does take a long time to wipe all of the soap studs away, but it does a really good job if you have like caked on food on there, it does a good job. You'll see I clean like three different times with this glass stove top. It is a pain to keep clean. So the first round I put some dish soap and then I just kind of smear it around with a sponge and then wipe it clean. Then you'll see me go over it with some Windex to kind of shine it up and then I still didn't like the way it looked so I went over it with some glass cleaner well it's not glass cleaner it's glass top stove cleaner and I don't like to use that too often because that takes a little bit of time to activate you can't just spray and wipe it's one of those things that you kind of have to spray and let it sit for a bit and then you can wipe it a snowball in each hand take me away Christmas day there's joy So we're going to let that glass stovetop cleaner sit for a bit and that will get any of the grime that I wasn't able to get up with the dish soap. I find with the glass stovetop, if you don't wipe away the grime right away, it is a pain to get off. So that cleaner did the job of getting that remainder residue away. I am just wiping down these counters and then since this is a deep clean, I did go ahead and wipe down the cabinets. That is something that I do daily, at least the ones in front of me right now because those are always getting food grime on them and white shows everything. So usually I will always so wipe those down after wiping the counters to keep those nice and clean. Laughter and white smiles, my presence stacked in pies. Take me away, Christmas Day.
Now we are moving on to wiping down the stainless steel appliances. I'm just using my multi-surface spray to wipe away the food grime. A lot of times I will be in and out of the fridge when I'm cooking and I get food splattered on the outside of the fridge. So I like to wipe it down first and then I will go over it with my stainless steel cleaner. I don't like to clean with this cleaner. I like to use it more of so to shine. So you'll see me spraying that on the refrigerator and then wiping it down and that gives it that really good shine. To the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight Glimmering these white cabinets on this side are ones that I don't have to wipe down too often. I wipe these down like once a week because for some reason food never gets over here. I think the other ones get so dirty because the stove is right by it. So I'm wiping those down. I'm also wiping down our small pantry. And then here in a second, we are gonna be moving on to vacuuming the floors. And then we're also gonna be mopping. And then when I finished mopping, I realized there were still a few things left that I wanted to do in the kitchen. So you'll see me come back for some additional cleaning. The Christmas lights fill the city There are people everywhere that cleaner on the stovetop had been sitting for a few minutes, so I went ahead and wiped it away, and I feel like it got the remainder grime, which I was really happy about. I hated that I had to do like three different things to get it clean, but whatever it takes, I wanted my glass stovetop to be shiny again. I realized that I forgot to wipe down the outside of the oven, so that is what we're doing right now. So the last thing we're gonna be doing in this video before I share that delicious crock pot recipe with you guys. I literally put that recipe in the crock pot at like I think 12.30. That's why I love the crock pot because you don't always have to let it cook all day if you don't have all day. I had forgot to defrost the meat and it was perfect. I got it in the crock pot at like 12.30 and it only took four hours to cook one high. So that ended up working out very well for me. But I went ahead and cleared off the table and I'm just using a microfiber cloth. It just has water on it since this wood I don't believe is true. Treated. It has a very rustic kind of texture to it. I still have not ordered that glass tabletop to go on top. I know I said I found a place, but you guys, I've been having so much going on. So hopefully I will have that sooner than later. I'm vacuuming the floors and then we're going to be giving these floors a good mop. I wanted all of the laminate mopped in this video. And also I wanted to say my snake plant that I got from all of these, I want to say it was a month ago or two months ago. I have been doing an amazing job at keeping it alive. Now my fiddle leaf tree, on the other hand, I think it's time for me to go ahead and let it go. I think I have killed it, you guys. I don't know what I did wrong. I follow the directions. It said to water it once a week. It said to put it in direct sunlight. I did all of that. I even used some fertilizer that the lady at Lowe's recommended and still no hope for my fiddle leaf tree. Okay, so and now for the crock pot salsa chicken. We make this all the time. It is seriously so delicious. So all you have to do to make it is to just spray your crock pot down with some cooking oil so that way nothing sticks at the bottom. And then I went ahead and used three chicken breasts which equaled one pound of meat. You can always use more if you're feeding more people or you can even use less. And then you need one packet of taco seasoning. I just buy the big one from Costco so that way I always have it on hand. And then usually you would use a full jar of your favorite salsa but since this was a larger jar. I only use half of it. And then you're just gonna put the top in the crock pot and you are going to let it cook on high for four hours. Here is how the chicken looks when it is done cooking. It had been cooking for four hours. It smelled so delicious. So all you have to do from here is just to take two forks and shred the chicken. It shreds so easily. So this is how the chicken looks. It literally took a couple of seconds to shred everything, probably like 20 seconds, and it is all done. It smells delicious. So you can serve this on some tacos, which is what I usually do. And then I will just um, put 
some like fresh lime juice on it to just kind of give it a burst of flavor and maybe like some cilantro, some cheese. You can kind of get creative however you usually have your tacos. We are doing a taco salad, so I will share with you guys how we are having right, ours. So here's how our taco salad looks. I just have this on a bed of some lettuce. I added some cauliflower rice, which is just cauliflower rice that I bought um, frozen that you just heat up in the microwave. And I put a little bit of lime juice, some sea salt, and fresh cilantro. There's really no measurement. You just kind of add it to taste. I try to make it taste like um, chipotles. And then I added that salsa shredded chicken. And then I added a little bit of some corn, some kidney beans. We usually do black beans. I didn't have any. And kidney beans pairs really well with this. And then I added some fresh guacamole and some tomatoes. So this will be our little taco salad. Super healthy. The chicken also tastes amazing on tacos as well. So if you want to do that, that's an amazing way to have it. If you guys have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got all the inspiration to get your home clean for Christmas. And if you recreate that recipe, definitely tag me over on Instagram. Go ahead and head over to Kristen L's channel. Let her know I sent you. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye. I don't know what he's thinking when he says that he's been driving all night, all day to celebrate Christmas with me. But he's not here and I'm not there. I don't know what he wants now, but I don't care.